There's no secret about it. Canada has a problem with treating mental health. Can psychedelic plants, which have been around for centuries, help treat depression, PTSD, and addiction? Over the next several days and in an upcoming documentary, City News is investigating what's being called the psychedelic revolution. Powerful, mind-altering drugs like LSD and magic mushrooms right now being studied to treat a variety of conditions. Tonight, a look at the mental health problem in Canada and why some say there's a psychedelic solution. In terms of the current state of mental health in Canada, arguably this is, you know, among one of the biggest health and social challenges that our society faces. A problem Dr. Evan Wood, who's a BC-based world-renowned addiction specialist, says is only expected to get worse. Whether it's the pandemic or new things that uh, have come to be part of our daily lives like social media and young people that are contributing to sort of all-time record high rates of depression and anxiety or having growing problems with substance use disorder. The current treatments legally available, Wood says, aren't working for everyone. When you actually really dredge through the research around antidepressant treatments, while some people may benefit, just as many people will not benefit. Which is why experts like Wood have been looking for something new is the answer in plants and fungi that have been around for centuries. Powerful mind-altering plants and fungi, also known as psychedelics. I've also had patients who have gone out on their own volition independently and sought out different psychedelic treatments in the underground psychedelic world, and I've had those experiences where a patient will come back in and, wow, <laughs> what, what happened? And when you look at the data, Sometimes it looks like it's been faked because it's so compelling in terms of, you know, these dramatic improvements that are being seen. So now scientists like Wood are further studying psychedelic drugs like magic mushrooms, which contain the psychoactive compound called psilocybin. It's being used uh, for both substance use disorder uh, and uh, for depression and anxiety. These drugs are currently illegal in Canada, but will clinical trials now underway change that? A New York University has been exploring um, psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy for alcohol addiction, and there's other international uh, research that's being done in the context of uh, cocaine addiction as well. Um, psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy is also being used for depression, and there's really exciting uh, data that's coming out for that. Expect more data to come from Canada soon. Wood recently joined a Canadian company called Numinous, one of the first to receive approval from Health Canada to study magic mushrooms. In a new documentary, The Psychedelic Frontier will take you inside their lab. From there, we go underground. Yes, it's illegal. I guess if I get caught, I get caught. Where for the very first time, this BC man is risking it all by going public, hoping to help others. I don't know of anything that cures post-traumatic stress like the psilocybin does. Certainly when you talk to people who have availed themselves of these substances or people that have been research participants in these trials that are now, you know, making videos describing their experiences, and the people that are su suffering and struggling out there that are coming across these things, I think ultimately this will emerge as a standard of care. So how far are you away from getting legal access to these drugs? There is a big push to make that happen soon. In fact, a handful of patients facing end-of-life care received Health Canada approval to consume magic mushrooms back in August. But will it be approved to treat other issues? We'll tackle that question and so much more in that new documentary called Veracity, The Psychedelic Frontier. It airs Monday night, 10, 9 central, only here on City TV. Pat Taney, City News.